Uh, my name is Chad Gradney. I'm 42 years old. I am from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and uh, I am a father of a nine-year-old son and a four-year-old daughter. Um, to tell you a little bit about my story, back in the year of 2005, I was 27 years old. I started having um, chest pains and symptoms of shortness of breath. Uh, I started going to the doctors and telling them my symptoms. Some of the doctors thought I had anxiety, um, heartburn. I was in and out of the emergency rooms um, with chest pains. Uh, on, on the time of presenting to the emergency rooms, doctors would give me a uh, drug test, thinking I uh, fit the profile of a drug user or a street user or something like that. Um, in the in two months before my wedding in the year of April, 2005, I, I woke up one morning and I found myself, uh, I felt like my heart was gonna explode. Uh, my mom gave me a leftover a nitro pill that my daddy had and the symptoms immediately, immediately stopped. So from that point, we knew something was going on with my heart. Um, we immediately went over to the emergency room and I had a heart cat perform. And we found out that I was uh, in serious need of a heart, uh, heart bypass. I ended up having quadruple bypass surgery at the age of 27. Um, I, from, from that point before, I had never had my cholesterol checked, even at the age of 27 but I did know I had a, a strong family history of uh, heart disease. My father had heart bypass surgery at the age of 32. And six months before I was scheduled to get married, he basically passed away in my arms at the age of 56. Um, when I finally got my cholesterol check, my total cholesterol was over 400. The LDLs were over 200 um, at the time. So, I was basically prescribed a statin and sent home at the time um, after, the, after the heart surgery. So I think if I would have been diagnosed with FH at an earlier age in my life, it, it would have made a, a really uh, profound difference on the outcome of, of my future. So being diagnosed with FH can make a difference in your life. Um, it actually took seven years for me to get diagnosed with the FH um, diagnosis. Back in 2012, I found myself back in the emergency room with angina. Um, doctors had no answers of, of uh, moving forward as a, a treatment plan. And basically, I was put on a heart transplant list. That basically was the only option they had for me. Um, I was a new father. I think my son at, at the time was maybe 18 months old. And my wife and I, we decided that that was not the life that we were going to live. Um, this just was not the future that we were planning for. So we started reaching out to personal contacts, family members, anybody that can help us um, with my situation. And to be honest with you, um, telling some family members by because we just didn't know if I was going to actually leave the hospital or not that day. Um, so my wife called her uncle, which is a doctor. He actually was at the American uh, Heart Association Conference in Dallas, Texas at the time. And uh, they told him what was going on. He reached out to a friend of his who was a cardiologist at John Hopkins. And she agreed to take me on as a patient if I can get to John Hopkins. So um, at that, that point in time, it was, um, we were fighting for my life. So my wife and I, we booked tickets. We went up to John Hopkins for three days and I was ran through a, a gamut of tests. And I met with a lipidologist, uh, Dr. Peter Kurovich. And within the first 20 minutes of our uh, meeting, he diagnosed me with uh, the, the, uh, the FH uh, disease, um, just from literally talking about my family history. And from that moment on, I was put on a, a very aggressive uh, medication treatment. And within, I think with, I started looking within the hour or two, my wife started looking up um, just familiar hypercholesterolemia and we came across the FH Foundation. And we got engaged with the FH Foundation back in 2013. And that's when I met other people like me. Cause at the time I felt like I was alone. Uh, basically I was given a statin within those seven years and just sent home. And within those seven years, I found out that three of my four bypasses basically had failed. So I was basically back to the drawing board with um, my heart condition. But after that aggressive treatment, I was given a, a I was put on two statins, azetamine, and I was introduced to the PCSK9 inhibitor, 
which made a difference in my life. Um, upon that aggressive medication treatment, my, my LDLs became under control. I think my total cholesterol at the beginning of this year was 71. Um, so that made a big difference for me. I have not had a, um, a ER visit or a hospital stay over since uh, the year of 2014. So being diagnosed with FH and being put on this aggressive uh, treatment has made a world of a difference in my life. Something I want to share with everybody and I would like for everybody to take care is um, I would want everybody to know that there is people with FH like myself and the people on, the, on this panel out there, but we are not getting the diagnosis that we need to understand the condition and to take care of ourselves and our family members. Um, to all the doctors, you can help people like me access the care that we need by looking for FH and when you're recognizing it, diagnosing your patients with it. Um, I wish my father had, had that opportunity so we could have had a shot to um, have had a chance to uh, prevent heart disease in our family. Um, I would like to uh, now thank the doctors that, that I do have a chance on uh, preventing this heart disease in my family and advocating for myself. And now that my family has this opportunity for, for prevention, um, we can try to end this um, heart disease in our family. Um, I wanna thank the FH Foundation for being on the forefront of helping uh, put out the information with, with this disease and helping combat and putting forth the treatments that, that are available for everyone. And I just wanna say thank you for having, uh, having me, giving me this opportunity to share my story with you guys. Thank you.